the spell against stingy parents. Iza watched his parents work all day, even on weekends, with little rest. Iza thought his parents, working so hard, made a lot of money. That's why he got very angry when he asked them something and they told him that it could not be, that they had no money for their whims. You are stingy and selfish. Said Iza to his parents one day. You make a lot of money and you want it just for you. That is not true, said his mother. We work hard, that's true, but that does not mean we're about money. The parents of Andrew work unless you and he has everything, bike changes to game consoles, tablet, mobile, computer, clothes, a huge remote controlled car and a super slow drone. And I wear my cousin's used clothes and I have none of that. And without further ado, Iza went to his room. I'll fix this in a minute, said Iza, already locked in his room. Iza took a spellbook he had found in the school library, hidden at the bottom of the last shelf, behind a pile of books. His friends had laughed at him for taking seriously that this was an authentic book of spells, but gave Iza same. After reading the index carefully, Iza found a spell that could work the spell against the stinging parents. According to the book he said, had to invoke the spirit of an old miser deity to absorb the stinginess of parents who resist Isha to give their children every whim. But first you had to drink a concoction, a potion of invocation for the spirit to come. Isa prepared the potion and invoked the stingy spirit. A blue-green haze appeared in front of him. Iza recited the spell and the mist disappeared. Done, said Iza. Now I can ask for anything I want. He was about to leave his room when the mist returned, materialized in a sort of magical genius and said. Iza, I have not been able to absorb a stingy spirit because your parents have no stinginess at all. They work hard so that you can live in dignity. The spell against the stingy parents but they work hard, said Iza, I'm sure they win more. Your parents are saving for your future and for your studies said the genius, so you do not have to leave school to go to work, as happened to them when they were young. That day Iza stopped protesting and asking for things and began to help his parents in all he could. He applied much more in his studies and helped at home so that his parents could rest when returning home. Iza discovered that what matters most is not expensive things, but having parents who strive to offer you a life full of opportunities.